step sequencer is great not only for drum loops, but for bass and other melodic instruments. Here I've got a bass sound, and I'm gonna delete these default row assignments and use the learn function to just learn the pitches that I need. And now I can get rid of this extraneous pitch bend and this original one. And I can draw in some notes. Let's start with a 32 step pattern. Now we can vary it in a number of ways. I'm gonna start by making some of the notes longer by changing the step rate. So there's some are long, some are short. We can also vary the way the patterns repeat by skipping some steps. So by doing this, the rows move at different intervals due to some steps being skipped, adding some interesting permutations. We can also reduce the chance of some of these notes happening so they don't all happen every time. Just a little bit can go a long way to varying the pattern. Now let's look at adding some automation. I'm gonna duplicate this last row and I'm gonna switch the definition to the smart controls cutoff. And I'll just draw in a couple of steps. And the velocity value is what sets the value, in this case, of the filter. So I'll raise some of these to create some accents. And we can also further modify and add permutations by looping the rows different amounts. For example, I can have that start there. Maybe I'll have that one end there. So it creates interesting permutations over time. So that's working great. Now, what I can do is take this and drag it into live loops. And I can determine that I want this to play from here. And what I'm gonna do is copy this over a few times. And in here, I'm gonna make some variations by being able to change the play direction of this lane in that version and this one. I'm gonna change the direction of that lane and maybe change the looping here. So now I can trigger these and audition different variations. There's the next one. So those are some ideas on how you can get the most out of Step Sequencer using it for bass or pitched instruments. If you want to learn more about this and the other Logic 10.5 features, check out Logic 10.5 Update Explained at Group3.com.